This production is brought to you by the Aquazest, the Mohawk Casino, Midnight Confetti, Beauty and Bloom Flower Shop, Nature's Gift, Fruit Bouquets, and Mohawk Plumbing. Welcome to the Not So Newlywed Game, the game show where couples answer questions to find out what they know or what they don't know about their significant other. Couple number one has been together for seven years and married for two years, Travis and Donatio Thompson. Couple number two has been married for nine years and have four children, Gordon and Chrissy Jacobs. Couple number three has been together for 16 years and married for six, Taylor Martin and Lugos Peters. Couple number four has been together for almost three years and recently engaged, Stephen Thompson Oaks and Andrew Cashin. They're playing for a romantic night at the Aquazestimal Casino, along with $50 rewards. Welcome to the Not So Newlywed Game. I'm your host, Kevin Lazor, and uh, let's meet our couples a little more. Couple number one, what have you guys been doing to prepare yourselves for the Not So Newlywed Game? Just asking a lot of questions, <laughs> random questions. <laughs> so you, you watched last, last year? Yeah. Do you know what to expect? Yeah. That's good. All right, couple number two, what about you? What have you guys been doing to prepare? I'm just living life, going with the flow. <laughs> Life, life is good? Yeah, life is good. Oh, that's good. All right, well, couple Aldi. number three, what have you guys been doing to prepare yourselves? Asking each other a lot of questions. Nervous at all? Yeah. Very. All right, well, Very you nervous. Prepared. You yeah. came to the right show. Yeah. Lucky I didn't turn around. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of that. And uh, Andrew and Steven, what have you guys been doing to prepare yourselves? You watched last season, I'm sure? We've been watching a little bit of them this morning, just to see what, uh, what kind of questions you might ask. Okay. A little and nervous, a little, little nervous. A little? <laughs> well, one of you uh, is going to win the one nice day at the Aquazest Mall Casino and Resort. So when we return, the couple on the left side will be leaving the stage. And then we're going to ask the remaining partner a few questions about, about, your, about your relationship and about yourselves. And then you have to come back and kind of match that up. And that's how the not so little wet game goes. So... When we return, the couple on the, sorry, a person on the left-hand side will be gone, and we'll be right back right after this. Nature's Gift Unique Fruit Bouquets offer fruit bouquets and platters for any occasion. Nature's Gift also provides healthy smoothies that will improve your immune system and health. Stop by Nature's Gift Unique Fruit Bouquets today. other half of our panel is gone. So we're going to start off by asking Jeanette Dio the very first question. And each of you will be getting the same question. And your partner will have to come back and match your answers for five points. So we'll start with Jeanette Dio over at the end. Which of these three things did your partner say would be easiest for you to give up cold turkey for a month? <laughs> Sex, coffee, or television? Coffee. Why? Because I don't drink it. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> and, and Gordon, Coffee which, which of these would your partner say would be easiest? Coffee, coffee as well? Yeah. Why is that? I don't drink coffee either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and look what's. Television. Television. I don't like watching TV. You don't like watching TV? Why not? Just never watch TV. You just like being on it, that's why you joined our show. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, what about you, Andrew? Uh, I definitely like my coffee, and the other one's self-explanatory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to question number two. Which part of your body would your partner say is most like an onion because it makes them cry? <laughs> <laughs> my feet. <laughs> your feet? Why is that? Is this because of the bad odor? No. <laughs> They're really, um, uh, I have... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Gordon? <laughs> Probably my breath. <laughs> Your breath? <laughs> All right, and Lunguas? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. What's the question again? The question... Which part of your body would your partner say is most like an onion because it makes them cry? 
my fist. <laughs> Your fist? <laughs> why? Why? You probably you? say that. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I I do this a lot. <laughs> and Andrew. I guess my breath too in the morning time. Your breath also. Yeah. It's not that pleasant. <laughs> okay. All right, back to Jonah Dio. Where do you think your partner would put a handful of itching powder? In his shoes. <laughs> in his shoes, okay. Gordon. And probably in my shoes. <laughs> in your shoes, okay. And Lunguas. In his shoes. In his shoes. All right, and Andrew. Repeat the question. Where do you think your partner would put a handful of itching powder? Probably my pants. In your pants? <laughs> yeah. Do I, should I ask why? I wouldn't. Okay, I, I don't know. think I want to know. <laughs> All right, question number four, Jonadio. How would your partner describe you when you first wake up in the morning? A, aggressive, B, chipper, or C, grouchy? Probably B. B, chipper. So you're very happy? Yeah, I'm a morning person, so. Okay, awesome. All right, Gordon. Yeah, it's chipper. <laughs> chipper as well. Yeah. I want to hear the question again. All right, look us. <laughs> How would your partner describe you when you first wake up in the morning? Aggressive, chipper, or grouchy? Aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> wow, OK. Yeah. And Andrew? I'd say grouchy. grouchy. He, he knows not to come around me until I've had my coffee. Oh, that's good. OK. <laughs> All right, question number five. What would your partner say would be more embarrassing? A, if your mother walked in on the two of you making whoopee, or B, if their mother walked in on you making whoopee? A. A, your mother? My mother. Okay, and she's in the audience right now too. Yeah. <laughs> Gordon. Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say uh, my parents. Your, your, my your mom. mother. Lunguas. My mom. Your mom? <laughs> and Andrew. I'd say my mom as well. You say your mom as well. All right, well, that completes the first round of questions. We're going to bring back your partners and see if they can match your answers. So we're going to return right after this. The not so newlywed. <laughs> Beauty in Bloom Floral and Gift Shop specializes in unique and customized floral designs for any occasion. Birthday, wedding, anniversary, or just to say I love you, Beauty in Bloom Floral and Gift Shop is the place to go. Call Beauty in Bloom Floral and Gift Shop today or stop by the shop and see the unique designs or buy that perfect gift. Beauty in Bloom Floral and Gift Shop, a creative solution for all your floral needs. Aquazesta Mohawk Casino, Midnight Confetti, Beauty in Bloom, Nature's Gift Fruit Bouquets, and Mohawk Plumbing. Welcome back to the Not So Newlywed Team. Our couples are back. Welcome to the stage. Welcome back to the stage. So while you were gone, we have asked your significant other five questions. Now it's your job to try and match their answers. Each correct answer that you get will be five points. Are you ready? We're going to start off with Travis over at the end. How are you doing? Pretty nervous. No. Pretty nervous? Okay. I can't wait. So, question number one. Which of these three things did your partner say would be easiest for you to give up cold turkey for a month? Oh a. Sex. B. Coffee. Or C. Television. Oh, coffee. Do not deal? Coffee! <laughs> and uh, Chrissy, what about you? Television. Television, what'd you say? What did you say? Coffee. <laughs> I would die. It's no, no, it's about him. Oh, it's about him? Is it, <laughs> did yeah, your you partner changed. say it would be easiest for you to give up for a month? Oh, I missed All right, Luguas. Oh, pay attention. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Taylor. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Coffee. TV. TV. I couldn't get TV. Oh, yeah. It's about us. 
Which of these three things did your partner say would be easiest for you to give up? Cold turkey for a month. What are they? Sex, coffee, or television? Cold turkey. Coffee? Coffee. He said coffee. Yay. All right, back to Travis. Is it a question? Which part of your partner's body that they say is most like an onion because it makes you cry? <laughs> uh, that booty. That booty? <laughs> no idea, what'd you say? I'm looking. Oh, she said feet. Oh, true. Yeah, true, my bad. And... Mom's my booty make you cry. Oh, oh. <laughs> and Chrissy, she's over there laughing. What are you saying? <laughs> Which part of your partner's body that they say is most like an onion because it makes you cry? Come on. I can't think of anything. You don't sting. <laughs> <laughs> I need an answer. I don't know his ass. <laughs> he said his breath. <laughs> All right, Taylor, which part of your partner's body they say is most like an onion because it makes you cry? His breath. No, her breath. Or her breath, sorry. She said her fist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephen. Which part of your partner's body do they say is most likely an onion because it makes you cry? That would be the breath. His breath. He said his breath. <laughs> All right, Travis. Where does your partner think you would put a handful of itching powder? Right in your underwear. <laughs> He said, she said her shoes. Oh, I'm backwards, I don't know. I know, this is confusing. Yeah, it is confusing. All right, Chrissy. So, where I would put the itching powder or where he would? Where does your partner think you would put a handful of itching powder? My shoes? Her shoes. Oh, my God. No. His shoes. Oh, so you got it right? Your shoes? Yeah, it's correct. Oh my God. You got it right. <laughs> All right, Taylor. Mm. <laughs> Her shoes. Her shoes. Shoes. <laughs> and Steven. I'd like to say shoes too. He said. Sh <laughs> he said his pants. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on to question four. Travis, describe your partner when they first wake up in the morning. Aggressive, chipper, or grouchy? Aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> Donadio said, said chipper. chipper. You ain't no chipper. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you all happy and jolly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chrissy, what'd you say? Uh, you gotta tell her the question again. <laughs> Okay. Describe your partner when they first wake up in the morning. Aggressive, chipper, or grouchy? Chipper. He's a chipper! <laughs> Taylor. Aggressive. Stop lying. He said aggressive. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Which one is it, Steven? Can you repeat the question again? <laughs> Describe your partner when they first wake up in the morning. Aggressive, chipper, or grouchy? It depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Most days, grouchy. <laughs> grouchy! <laughs> All right, back to Travis. What did your partner say would be more embarrassing? A, if your mother walked in on the two of you making whoopee, or B, if their mother walked in on you making whoopee. Oh, whoopee. definitely B. It'd definitely B. B, she said her mom. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. All right, what about you, Chrissy? His mother. His mother. Yes, that's correct. Taylor. 
Her mom. <laughs> Her mom. <laughs> Steven. His mom. <laughs> His mom. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes the very first round. You guys survived. Congratulations. <laughs> when we return, the other half will well leave the stage and will ask their partners questions about their relationship. Stay tuned. The Not So Newlywed Game will return right after this. With us the TV. Here's what we can do for you. Zusna TV, Indigenous Storytelling. <laughs> and welcome back to the Not So Movie Red Game. We have asked your partners to please leave the stage, and now it's now time for round two. So, how are you feeling? Tell me how, how you're feeling. Are you pumped up for round two? What's going on? Uh, pretty excited. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Chrissy? I'm ready to put him on the spot. Yeah. Taylor? <laughs> All right, Steven. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, let's go with question number one. How much cash is in your partner, okay, sorry. How much cash is your partner carrying with them right now within $5? Oh, nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> a whole lot of lint. Chrissy? Uh, $100. $100 right now? Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 40. 40. 40 dollars. Uh, I just took money on my way out, so I don't think he's carrying nothing right now. <laughs> nothing, okay. Travis, complete this sentence. When I first met my partner, I thought she was blank. Beautiful. Beautiful. Aww. Aww. <laughs> and uh, Chrissy. Well, I thought he was hot, but I was really rude to him, so he probably doesn't think but. <laughs> <laughs> so your answer is hot? Yeah. Okay. Taylor? Mean. mean. <laughs> <laughs> you thought she was mean? She was a bully. <laughs> she was a big bully, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Steven? Handsome. Handsome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number three. <clears throat> when your partner leaves you at home, <laughs> what time is it? A, party time, B, cleaning time, or C, nap time? Oh, definitely C. Definitely <laughs> Sleeping C, all time. day, all day, at least till noon. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Chrissy? It's cleaning time, but I think he just naps. <laughs> well, this is, so it's cleaning, but it's a lie. Is it when, when your partner leaves you alone at oh, home? Oh, me? Yes. I don't get left alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did leave you at home. Okay, cleaning, I guess. Doesn't cleaning happen. time, okay. It doesn't happen. Taylor? Um, nap time. Nap time for you? Yeah. What about you, Steven? Can you repeat that again? I know. When your partner leaves you at home, it's me at home, what time is it? Party time, cleaning time, or nap time? What would he say? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, time to take in. <laughs> Cleaning time. Cleaning time for you, okay. <clears throat> Question number four, Travis. If your whoopee sessions were like television programs, oh which God. will your partner say you think best describes your last one? A, first run, B, rerun, or C, canceled? <laughs> oh Wait, so when we're jigging? <laughs> Is that what that was? I mean? Whoopee session. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I want to say B. B, rerun? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Chrissy. First run. The first, one, first run? Okay. Can I hear it again? Yeah, sure. If your whoopee sessions were like television programs, which will your partner say you think best describes your last one? A, first run, B, rerun, or C, canceled? A. A, rerun? Oh, sorry, first run. <laughs> Got that mixed up. Okay, what about you, Steven? Uh, B. B, rerun. 
All right, so question number five. <clears throat> How would your partner say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking about your partner, okay? Okay. Oh, I hope I don't get divorced. If she donated her blank to science, they'd probably refuse it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Come on, Kevin. Abort, abort. Her hand. Her hand? Yeah, because I don't want to get divorced. So. Okay. <laughs> About you, Chrissy. If your partner... Sorry, how would your partner say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking about him. Okay. If he donated his blank to science, they would probably refuse it. His lungs. His lungs. Oh, do they smoke a lot? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> how about you, Taylor? Her teeth. Her teeth. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying he's in trouble. <laughs> Steven. I'd have to say the lungs, too. His lungs as well. All right, well, congratulations. You have completed that round. Oh, my God. <laughs> when we return, we'll get their partners back up here and see if they can match their answers for 10 points, double the points this round. We'll we return right after this with the Not So Newlywed game. We'll be right back. Mohawk Plumbing. We have everything you need from flooring, paint, home decor and septic systems, landscaping, metal roofing and more. Make the job easier and safer. Kubota service, man lift rental and other small equipment rentals. The staff are experienced, courteous and always willing to assist you in finding the right tools to help you for your projects. Oh, and we do plumbing too. Hey, need a plumber? Come to Mohawk Plumbing. We have everything you need and we'll take good care of you. This production is brought to you by the Aqua Zesta Mohawk Casino, Midnight Confetti, Beauty and Bloom, and Nature's Gifts, Fruit Bouquets, and Mohawk Plumbing. Welcome back to the Not So Newlywed Game, round two, and questioning is complete. And so we brought back your partners. Are you guys nervous? Excited? What's going on? How are you feeling? Nervous. I want to throw up. You're going to throw up? <laughs> well, not, not on my stage, please. Well, welcome back. So. Here's what we did. We asked your partner uh, five questions. Now it's your job to try and match the answers for double the points, so 10 points this round, okay? Here we go. Are you ready, Jonathan? Questions for you. <laughs> How much cash did your partner say you are carrying with you right now in $5? I'm carrying? Implement to five. Mm, nothing. <laughs> nothing, that's right. <laughs> Gordon. Yeah, it's what I that's what I'm carrying, right? Yeah. What you're carrying. How much cash would you say you're carrying on you right now? $150? $150. Chrissy? Uh, no. What'd you say? 100 Canadian. Luguas? 100 Canadian. 100 Canadian as well. $40. Hey, they exchange. <laughs> Andrew? Uh, nothing. Nothing. He said nothing. <laughs> Alright, moving back down to Jonadio. Complete this sentence. When your partner first met you, they thought you were blank. Beautiful. Yes. He said beautiful. Gordon? Cute. Cute. I don't know. What'd you say? Hot. She said hot. <laughs> Look what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Taylor, what'd you say? <laughs> yeah, you were mean. <laughs> Andrew. Handsome. Handsome. He's yeah. handsome. <laughs> Better than that, at least. <laughs> All right, moving back down to Jonathan. <laughs> when you leave your partner at home, oh god, what time is it for him? Is it party time, cleaning time, or nap time? Nap time. Yes. <laughs> nap time. <laughs> All right, Gordon. When you leave Chrissy at home, what time is it for her? Party time, cleaning time, or nap time? 
It's for her, right? Yeah, it's for her. Cleaning time. <laughs> Cleaning time. <laughs> for me. Lugwas? Nap time. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Sometimes cleaning. <laughs> 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 Wow, someone was a little ambitious there. Yeah, All right, back down to doing the deal. The when, oh sorry, I'm repeating this. If your whoopee sessions were like television programs, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> which so will you say you think best describes your last one? A, first run, B, rerun, or C, cancel? <laughs> uh, rerun? Is that what you said? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Gordon, if your whoopee sessions were like television programs, which will you say you think best describes your last one? A, rerun, B, sorry, sorry, A, first run, B, rerun, or C, canceled? Whatever one gets it done the fastest. <laughs> That's not an option. Rewind? Rerun? Oh, oh, rerun? Yeah, yeah, rewind. Okay, what'd you say? First run. Cancelled now. She said now it's cancelled. <laughs> what about you, Lugwas? <laughs> she can't even speak. <laughs> I want to hear a question again. Okay, <laughs> if, if your whoopee sessions were like television programs, which will you say you best describe your last one? A, first run, B, rerun, or C, canceled? First run. First run. <laughs> you said first run. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> rerun. Rerun. He said rerun. <laughs> All right, Jonadio, how will your partner say, sorry, how will your partner say you would complete this sentence? This is your partner talking about you. Okay, make that clear. If you donated your blank to science, they'd probably refuse it. <laughs> you talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're dead and you got to donate some and they don't want it. <laughs> What do, you, what do you say? Mm, my boobs. Her boobs. Good hands. hands. All right, Gordon. Can I repeat the question? My hearing. It's hearing. She said your lungs. That too. Lunguas. My uterus. <laughs> <laughs> she said your teeth. I should be a bonus part of this. Oh my god. She said your teeth. Stop pointing your uterus. All right. Stop Just make it clear that uh, this show is not responsible for any divorce court. Okay. <laughs> Andrew, what do you say? My lungs. His lungs, <laughs> it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> all right, great job, couples. You survived two rounds. So, all right, so judges, you're going to tell you up to scores. And we'll be right back after this as we crown a winner of the Not So Newlywed Game. Midnight Confetti Decorating Services is perfect for your next celebration. They're there to help you every step of the way with their elite products and services. From now to the end of March, save 20% on your tent and outdoor equipment. Let the professional staff at Midnight Confetti help plan your next big occasion. This production is brought to you by the Aquazest the Mohawk Casino, Midnight Confetti, Beauty and Bloom Flower Shop, Nature's Gift Fruit Bouquets, and Mohawk Plumbing. Welcome back to the Not So Newlywed Game, and it's now time to crown our winner. Good job to all of our couples. Let's give our couples a round of applause. Woo! 
In fourth place, with a, a score of 25 points, is team number two. <laughs> yeah. All right, did you just ask if you're team number two? <laughs> sure. Awesome. All right. In third, with 35 points, is team number three. And now we're down to team number one and team number four. Drum roll, please. The winner of the Not So Newlywed game with a score of 60 points is team number four. Congratulations, you have won yourself a one night stay at the Aquazest the Mohawk Casino and Resort along with $50 in rewards. Congratulations. Also, a bouquet of flowers from Beauty and Bloom Flower Shop. Congratulations. Thank you again to our sponsors for our not so newlywed game, the Aquas Lesta Mohawk Casino, Midnight Confetti, Beauty and Bloom Flower Shop, Nature's Gift, Fruit Bouquets, and Mohawk Plumbing. That's all for the not so newlywed game. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.